pending or in listen only mode. Jason here, and we are speaking on Monday, Monday, December 15th, 2014, and today we're going to talk about how to create a compelling image to, for your capture page to get people's attention so you can make sales in whatever opportunity you're in. So we're going to be again here with this image, and we're going to create this image, and as I had talked about last time, I'm going to show you how to create this image in 15 minutes or less and what I have used in the past and what I showed you uh, a few weeks ago was how to use Pixlr and this is the uh, software here which is uh, you can get online and it's free but we're going to actually use iPicky today this is a, another one that I will show you how to use and it's easy to use and it's also free so what you want to do, you want to get a free photo from Stock, Stock Vault or freephotos.com where you can get high quality images for free. And what you what usually sells is lifestyle images. That's why the image I have here is of a lifestyle image and I just have the text here, lifestyle. Okay, so I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna show you how to create this. So we're gonna start by heading to iPicky, you will create an account and then this is how it will look so you have to register okay and after you're in you'll have the options here where you can upload a photo create a collage and then there's some other options here that you can do but we're going to upload an image okay one that you've chosen but I just have one here for example all right, I have the title Lifestyle, and that's the one we're going to bring in. So we're going to hit on Open here. Okay, so as you can see, the image is here, and if you see at the example image I have, I'm going to have it up right here. You can see how it has a, a paint look, and, it, and how it has the... Um, mist around the ends almost to seem like it's a dream type this is your dream image what you want to what you want your lifestyle to be as you're portraying to the audience that you're trying to sell to whoever you're taught whoever your target audience is you're saying this doesn't have to be a dream you can live this lifestyle and so I'm gonna show you how to do that so once you have the image in here there are a lot of options you have here where you can crop, rotate, and all of these. I'll show you all this in a, another training in the future, but I would say just play with it because that's actually how I learn a lot of this stuff. I just play with it. And you can do tutorials and all, but um, I find it easier just to play with it. Mess it up, have fun with it, just, you know, have fun. Okay? And then if you hit over here to the effects of the photo, all right, the one I actually had on, uh, I had on, uh, I think it was off an image. Yes, that was the one. And then you could play with that. I actually had it softer than this, but I'm going to just hit this one, for example. I'm going to apply that, and you could apply all these other ones. That you can just hit on it, and you can always hit cancel, so it's all right. You know, you can always hit cancel. Then the other I had that had the mist effect on the ends with the mat. Okay, and then I hit apply and so you can see that has that effect of, you know, uh, a dream feel. Okay, and then there's tons of other options that you can choose here and as I said, just play with this because you cannot mess it up. Just play with it. Just hit on one and if you're not into it, you can always hit cancel. You can hit, uh, I had tried all types of effects but you can always just hit cancel always hit cancel. See, that is even a nice look, but, you know, just play around with it, all right? So once you have that and you have the image how, once you've edited the image how you want it to look, then you want to head over here to layers and then you want to hit on text, okay? 
then it's going to open up this text too and you can drag this wherever you want and I had mine right here and I typed in lifestyle okay and you can change the color here to whatever you want uh, I actually just have mine black and I had a fade to it. I had I think it was about 50% or so close enough and then the text you can play with all type of text styles I actually had Riesling that's the one I like because it had that elegant effect that's what I had and then you can either drag it from here to style or you can do with the size either or alright So that is what I had, okay? If you look at the image, you can see it almost side by side. Basically, that is what I had, okay? And then you can just hit on Save, and then it's going to ask you to uh, combine the layers, which you want to do, and then you can name it and save it wherever you want, okay? So I'm going to just do Lifestyle 2, since I already have it in there, save to the computer. Yeah, lifestyle too. All right. Now I'm gonna continue editing. Okay. So now, what if you wanted to have a circle just of the image right directly in the middle? Because I've been asked, uh, how do you create images, or how do you have your image or your headshot in a circle format? And I'm gonna show you how to do that because that's real easy. While I have this up, so. If you don't crop the image, what you want to do, you want to have it on square. Okay, so I want to have it on square. So say I want to crop it like this, like this, because I want to have it in a circle. Can I say I do something like this? But before I crop, let me well. Yeah, let me, okay. Mm, I'm trying to get, uh, trying to get parts of it in there. Okay, well, this would be good enough, this would be good enough. So lifestyle, something like that. Okay. So I can crop this, hit on apply. Alright. Then I want to hit on frame. This option here, I'm going to hit on frame. Okay. So with the frames here, what I want to do, I want to do rounded corners, all right, rounded corners. And then I want to move that all the way up. So see how I can do that? Easily just, so that's how I can create a circle of that. All right. And... A lifestyle is not all the way in there, but I can easily just move it or, you know, or make the image in this shape and then add lifestyle in later. Okay. So I can say this also. Then I'm going to apply the rounded corners. I'm going to do lifestyle circle. All right. Save to computer. And that is my next one. Okay. So this is actually a great tool that you can use to create images and do um, what you need to do to create a great capture page image that shows the lifestyle that you want people to relate to that you can that you can. Uh, get them to click on your opportunity to get them to buy into what you're trying to sell. And this is a great marketing tool and it's free. And as I said, if you have any questions about it, you, you can ask us at, at any time on the Monday Night Mastermind.
Facebook group. You can contact me there, and I'll be happy to help you. So that's what I want to actually teach today. I'll get more into this into some other uh, trainings, or if you buy coaching from us, I actually give you a full hour on how to use this and some other free tools. So uh, I'm gonna now open it up to questions. Uh, if you have any, if you have any questions, let me know. Or Josh, David, over to you. Yeah, I got I got a couple questions. Uh, my first question is, um, you said that you can use this, you know, like cap pages and stuff. Um, for those of of uh, us that that don't know exactly how to do that, how how would you put that on a capture page? Okay, uh, let me see if I can go to let me go to Mitch pages because uh, that's what I I use. Uh -huh. And you can use lead pages or any of the other ones, but I just use Mitch pages. So I'm going to show you from this. Uh, Log in real fast. Hold on one second. Let me log in. All right. So if you was to create a capture page. Let me just use just a template. Let me just choose a template. Uh, let me choose, like, say this one. No. Well, yeah, I'm going to choose this one. And this is how it would actually work on all of them. Uh, you just drop in the image. So let's say I want to change the uh, background image, which I have the option right here. Okay, and I can upload here a new image, so let me upload this one. And I actually created uh, another image. Let, me let this upload. Uh, let me see, I had that under video. Uh, so, what's that? I'll pick turn. And I believe that was one I created that I called example 2A. And while, while that's uh, uploading, I'll... There it is right there, just uploading. And so this is what, uh, yeah, what I had showed here was, yeah, lifestyle, but then you could just add in an extra image, which I just added that extra image in and added in some, some text. So that's the image that I actually have. And then you can edit all of this here as well. So. Right. Right. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, that was easy. Um, the other uh, question I had is, let's say I got a, I got a, a picture of me, um, but I don't like the background. I just want to, and I'm not sure what this is called, but I just want to um, uh, take the image of me out and just put, put me in a white background. Okay. Is that something that, that this, this free software can do? Yeah. Uh, you can actually use this, but uh, I, I would use for that, yeah, Pixlr. And let me show you real quick what you're talking about. You do go to Pixel and show you. So you would just head here and edit the image. And let me find, let me think of an image I may have that I may be able to show. Uh, let's see, uh, just choose one of these images that I have. So if you had an image of you, I think I have an image of me, but it's already in. Let me just use this one. Okay. If this was you, Josh, which it's not, but if, if this was you, what you would 
do here is you can actually highlight over here uh, wait I'm sorry right here and you can actually highlight all of this area let me make sure I get it up you can either highlight all of this area like this all around now this is going to be rough because I don't want to have it accurately but you can zoom in and have it accurate but you can come around here get all of this well that's not yeah it's not a hundred percent accurate hold up let me do that over one more time because that was kind of bad Mm -hmm. okay and so what I would do here after it's highlighted and you have that happening you would just hit on image and crop you can also highlight all of that area okay and delete it and do that and then delete that Okay, and now if I open up a new image, this is, this is a brand new image, and then I come back here and copy this. Wait. When I open up that image, I want to actually, when I open up the new image, I want to have it on transparent, and then copy it from here. Then edit paste, and then there you go. Now, if I open up another image, let's see, no. Open, and if I was to open up that same image, let's see. Uh, which one was that? That was Lifestyle 2 Tampa. If I want to have it on its own background, then if I did it accurately. Because I didn't do it 100% accurate, but you can see here now. Let me see. Edit scale that. Now you can see here. I don't have any of that white area in the background that I had right. on the other image. Right. Yeah, but you would. Uh, yeah. That, you you would actually take your time uh, to get it accurate, but. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what I was what I was trying to figure out the other day. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. So that's and, all you can do. Uh, I'm glad you showed me that. So now I can play around with it and figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. It always happens when you're live. It 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 has some it has some errors, but if you uh, take your time, you'll be able to get it. It's not that bad. All right. All right. Uh, did you have any questions? Right, well, um, anybody have any other questions? Uh, do you have anything that? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so next week we'll be on, and uh, yeah, David will have the class, and we'll update you later this week in the group on what we'll be training on, and we're happy that you were here. And if you have any questions on any of this, you can just uh, contact us within yeah, the Monday night mastermind Facebook group and you all have a good holidays and we hope to hear from you all next Monday. All right. Good night.